Boy, I don't know about y'all, but I'm super hyped for Season 3 Battle Pass. Let's get it. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Season 3 Battle Pass for Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm going to break it all down for you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today by the way. If you are, make sure you leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments down below. So when I'm looking at the Battle Pass breakdown here, it shows a, you know, it's, it's going to be an out of the world. That's the theme. It's like astronauts and, you know, aliens and all that kind of stuff. But if you look at this screenshot that I'll put on screen right now of this astronaut flying down from the battle bus, I'm guessing that there's going to be two different astronauts. There's going to be a male astronaut that is, you know, the red, as you can see. And then if you look in the male astronaut's visor, you see another astronaut that's a, it has a white suit on. And I'm guessing that's, that's the female astronaut. But uh, they start this off by saying, hey, yeah, folks. With Season 2 coming to a close later this week, we're here to answer your questions. Awesome. So with the Battle Pass, new to the Battle Pass, it's a way to get exclusive loot by playing Fortnite. Then earn, er, then earn or buy tiers to unlock even more rewards. When you buy the Season 3 Battle Pass, you instantly unlock a batch of great in-game rewards, including the new Mission Specialist outfit. As you play during the season, you unlock a series of reward tiers. The more you play, the more you unlock. Here's a screenshot that they have of the uh, Season 3 Battle Pass. It looks pretty sweet. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually super excited about it, to be completely honest. So what's the difference about Season 3 Battle Pass? There's 30 more tiers. 30 in Season 3. That's 100 in total. Last, last Battle Pass, guys, we only had 70 tiers. And now we got 100. That's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of... You're going to need to play a lot to get that thing out. So if you look at this, they actually say... They actually tell us, you know, what we're going to get in this Battle Pass. So, in the Season 2 Battle Pass, they had four outfits, three pickaxes, uh, four emotes, three gliders, zero back bling, zero skydive FX trails, zero loading screens, 16 banners, 16 emotes, and, or, well, emoticons, I guess you could say. And then, they had a total of 46 different cosmetic, or different items, you know? The Season 3 Battle Pass, however, is going to have six different outfits, three pickaxes, four emotes, three gliders, three back blings. 5 skydiving FX trails, 8 loading screens, 23 banners, 21 emoticons for 76 cosmetic items in total. That's going to be crazy, guys. And back bling, by the way, if you, guys are, if you guys are wondering about the back bling. The back bling is apparently going to be an accessory that you wear on your back. It's like a backpack, but it doesn't affect your inventory. So it's kind of like the Raptors backpack, I guess you could say, but you're, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to take it off. So the Raptors backpack becomes an equippable item in your locker in 3.0. You can choose to use this backpack as your back bling or one of the other back blings from the Battle Pass or any other back bling from characters that you own. You can choose to go into battle without back bling. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show the tweet on screen, but otherwise, yeah, that's it's going to be pretty sweet, guys. The, the back bling sounds real nice. It sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty, uh, you know, new, I guess you could say. Uh, the, the skydiving FX trails is actually a new thing also, too. Uh, if you look at that picture again with the, with the astronaut skydiving down from the battle bus, you see that there's, uh, where his hands and where his feet are, there's streams of air, like, coming off of them. That's the FX trail. So, you know, they might add in more, an FX trail there where you get, you know, fire coming out of your hands and your feet or smoke or whatever, whatever it could be. But that's going to be pretty cool to see the, you know, all the variations of that. And then the loading screens... Yeah, I feel like they're just trying to put stuff into the game now. Um, I don't know why we need loading screens, and I'm guessing that if you look at the screenshot of the Battle Pass Season 3 again, I'm guessing that that little picture of the silenced pistol is going to be somewhat of a loading screen, and it looks pretty boring. I don't know. I don't know if I, if if the if the loading screens are going to be really worth it, to be honest with you. Even though we added 30 tiers, you will still be able to complete the Battle Pass Season 3 Battle Pass in the same amount of time as the Season 2 Battle Pass. Typically 75 to 150 hours worth of gameplay. Don't have any time? You can always purchase tiers for 150 V-Bucks each. Okay, sweet. So hopefully, since there's 100 tiers, they give us more XP boost, you know, more friend XP boost, all of that. Hopefully, hopefully that works out and that happens because that'll be great. Uh, the new Battle Bundle. So... You get the Battle Pass plus 25 tiers for 2,800 V-Bucks. Now that, I don't know if it's very wor really worth it because you can easily grind the Battle Pass out, guys. Trust me, I did the last Battle Pass. It was not that difficult. I mean, it took a while, but I mean, if you like the game, you might as well just play it, all right? 
It includes access to the Battle Pass and instantly unlocks your next 25 tiers, all at a 40% discount. Again, I don't think that's very worth it, to be completely honest with you. But go with your own, do, do your own thing, right? All right, so they're, they're also introducing weekly challenges. Play at your own pace. Tear up even faster by completing the new weekly challenges. Each week, a new set of seven challenges unlock. Replacing the Season 2 Battle Pass daily challenges, weekly challenges stack and can be completed at any time before the season ends. So if you buy the battle, if you buy the pass mid-season, you'll still have access to all the previous weekly challenges. You can complete four out of seven weekly challenges to unlock your rewards, so choose the challenges that best fit your style. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. They're giving us a little bit of a, you know, uh customization i guess you could say to our challenges we get to choose them and they always stack and you know if even if you buy the battle pass at the last second or you know well hopefully you don't buy it at the last second then you're really screwed but hope but if you do buy the battle pass like somewhat late in the season it's fine you'll be able to get all these challenges you'll be able to do everything just fine um to be honest with you i feel like you know maybe if they if they give you the option to choose the challenges that you want i would just choose like all the ammo box ones all the chest ones right away just because getting those out of the way, you get a lot of stars real fast. If that's a thing, that's what I'm going to do. But I'll show the little screenshot of the weekly challenges on screen right now. Otherwise, there's not too much, too many other things. They had a few, a few frequently asked questions here. And one of them is, if I purchase the Battle Pass Season 2, do I get the Battle Pass Season 3? No. But you keep all of your rewards that you earn from the Season 2 Battle Pass, of course. Okay, and then somebody asked how to buy the Battle Pass, I guess. So, Fortnite being Fortnite, you know, you know the epic devs. They're like, this This is exactly what they said. So, it's like, how do I buy the Battle Pass? One, launch Fortnite. Two, select Battle Royale. Three, navigate to the Battle Pass tab. Four, purchase either the Battle Pass or the Battle Bundle. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. What if I buy the Battle Pass late in season? See, we already talked about this. So, you will be able to get all the rewards no matter what. To your current level, radioactively, that's what they say. Or retroactively, my bad. But, yeah, we talked about that already. You'll be the, you'll be totally fine if you buy it late. And then it says, another frequently asked question is, I want to get everything right away. Since there are no more, or since there are more levels in Season 3, isn't it going to cost more to buy my way to the end? And the, they say, yes, it does. For the first 70 tiers, you'll receive 70 items. Just like last season, the added 30 tiers in Season 3 offer more loot than before. We have designed the boosts and challenges so you can complete the 100 tiers of Season 3 in the same time as it took for the 70 tiers in Season 2. That's perfect, because I, I was just talking about that. You know, if you're able to, um, you know, get 100 tiers done at the same time 70 tiers came, then, then they definitely must have uh, given bigger boosts, more boosts in between, anything like that. So hopefully that's that's the case. Now guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it, you know, you got the gameplay in the background with the dub that we got. Uh, just this morning I actually got that win. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day for watch to watch my video. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the gameplay going in the background with some music. So if you want to watch the gameplay the rest of the way, go right ahead. Other than that, guys... I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Become part of the Garky Goer family. And leave a comment down below about what you're most excited for in this next Battle Pass. Or what you want to see come to the next Battle Pass. And, you know, keep the hype high, guys. This is going to be a sweet, sweet Battle Pass. I cannot wait. Again, see you guys in the next one. My name is Garky. Peace out. Like a hell cut. Hellcat.